going to be disappointments in your life. But install spiritual handles now, which will be within reach when dark, difficult days come. Get special scripture. In fact, I've got a little book right over here. It's called Wisdom from the Word, the Word of God. And uh, I, I like this here, and I don't even know who wrote this book, but I do know one thing. You see, if you get your attitude straight, you know what? God bless those who are humble, for they will inherit the whole earth. God bless those whose hearts are pure, for they will see God. What kind of attitude does God want me to have? You need to ask that question. Always, you must have the same attitude that Jesus Christ had. You're living for him. He gave us his divine privilege. He took up the humble position of a slave and died on the cross for our ever sin. Your attitude can control your success. Your attitude can control how to make the best life that you've ever, ever had. But with success comes failure. With success comes disappointments. With serving God sometimes comes disappointments and and learn, plan, and learn how to handle failures and setbacks and disappointments because I want to tell you what, get you a special scripture verses so rooted in your heart and, and mind that they will automatically come to your consciousness in a time of disappointment, in a time of crisis. You can say, and one of my favorites is Psalms 119, 11, thy word I have hid in mine heart that I might not sin against thee. And another one, praise God. The Lord gave me a special message when I preach uh, funerals about the 23rd Psalm. The Lord is my shepherd. When you're facing failures and when you're facing disappointments and when people let you down, I want you to know one thing. Listen to me tonight. If there's one we know, John 3.16 probably is the most memorized verse there is in the entire Word of God. But I would ask you tonight to add this to your resume of scriptures when, so you will know how to handle failure and disappointment. And that is the 23rd Psalms. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Just those words right there make something bubble up inside of me because the Lord is my shepherd. My shepherd. I shall not want. He said, I will provide for you. And when we are in the valley, God is there to bring us through each trial, and each situation. So plan how you will handle failure and disappointment. Next thing, folks, is begin spirit, building spiritual habits. Do what you know you ought to do. Systematic schedule for reading the Word of God. Organizing a prayer list. Establishing a regular time for soul winning and church visitation and a regular commitment of service for the Lord. Pandemics came along. It's really thrown a, as we country folks say, it's really thrown a monkey wrench on our church visitation the pandemic has. But is there a reason for the pand- pandemic? Is there a person for uh, a, a purpose for it? Yes, it is, folks, that God has allowed this to happen for some reason. Romans eight twenty eight for all things happen to the good, to them that loves the Lord, that's called according to his purpose and his will. And I want you to know, but to have a success for life and to have the best life you ever had, you need to begin building some spiritual habits. First one that I said tonight is reading God's word. Someone told me one time, said, Brother Ned, I don't understand God's word. I had to look at that person with an, with the attitude, you know, there's some passage of Scripture in the Word of God that I don't understand neither. But I do know one thing. The parts that I do understand keeps me so busy. 
I'm not going to worry about those parts that I don't understand because John 14, 26 says, But the comfort of which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send my, in my name, he would teach me all things and bring all things to where my remembrance. Because, and when I say that, because I might under, not understand a passage of Scripture, if I'll just keep reading it, one day that Holy Spirit will give me the interpretation and what I need to know about that scripture. So begin building spiritual habits. And the first one is reading the word of God, starting the book of Matthew, starting the book of John. If you knew a Christian, start in the book of John. That is a great book to start at. Then go to the book of Romans. Next thing, dare to dream. Don't let nobody List the things that you would really like to do with your life if you just had the courage to begin. Ask God, glory be to God, ask God to show you what opportunities would be used for his glory and then get busy with them. Don't let no one steal your dreams. Don't let no one downgrade you. Don't let no one so that won't work. Give it a try. You'll never know until you try it. Praise God. Praise God. And list. Here goes that list again. List the things you would really like to do with your life. G- just ask your question. You know, if I just had the courage to begin, folks, what better time, what better day r- as right now is to begin? Somebody might be just going through podcast and you run across uh, nuggets of God's word. It's no accident that you, you would stop by here. Someone out there, and, and I feel the spirit lead me to say this. Someone out there, you feel down. You feel empty. You feel like your dreams are gone. You just, you life feel like you're, you're nothing. And well, today, maybe the day is the day that. God meant for you to come by and let me give you a nugget of God's word. And the nugget of God's word is this right here. He loves you. Ephesians 2, 8 said, for by grace are you saved through faith that not of yourselves. He is a gift. It is a gift of God. God saying, I love you more than you could ever know. I love you. I care for you. Dare to dream. Don't let nobody steal your dream. Don't let nobody sit back and say, well, that won't work. I don't think you can accomplish that. Don't listen to that. Don't listen to that. Dare the dream. Get rid of the negative and get on the positive. Praise God. Don't let nobody say, well, you might not look right. Let me tell you something. You are God's creation. Bless God. Thank you, Jesus. You, we are all created in the image of of God tonight. Did you hear what I said? Do not let anybody downgrade you. You dream. You put your dreams at the top of the list. Dare the dreams. List those things you really like to do with your life and get the courage to do it. Don't let nobody stop you. You go forward. And the last thing I want to bring out tonight, and I want you to listen to this here, is to be successful and how to make the best life you've ever had. Seek earnestly for God's power to be obvious in your life. I had to do this years ago. Come daily, folks, not just once in a while. Come daily to that point of commitment which enables you to say, Lord, I'm yours, and I acknowledge your right to do with me and with all that belongs to me. Whatever will bring glory and honor to your name, ask the Holy Spirit to fill you and make your life and testimony effective and witness to others. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Ask him to teach you to pray in such a way that your life will be filled with answered prayers. Come daily. Come daily. Folks, whoever's listening to this right now, come daily to that point of commitment which enables you to say, Lord, I'm yours, and I like this right here. Lord, I'm a king's kid. 
And if you're born again today, if you accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, and he's living with you, and, and you're professing Christianity, guess what today? You're a king's kid. Praise God. Hallelujah. You're able to say, Lord, I'm yours, and I acknowledge you right now. Hallelujah. To do with me, Lord what belongs to me, Lord, and let me do your will, God, and let me walk with you, praise God. And Lord, first of all, everything, whatever brings glory to your name. Notice I didn't say some church name, some denomination name. I just simply said, and it's what the Spirit gave me, that it would bring honor and glory to your name. And I want nobody to think I'm, oh, he's anti-denomination. No, I'm not. But I want to tell you what, don't put denomination above, thus saith the Word of God. Ask the Holy Spirit to fill you and guide you and make your life a testimony, make your life a an effective witness to others that others may see the Lord Jesus Christ in your life and go with him. Seek earnestly, not for man's approval, but for God's approval, for God's power to be obvious in your life. Boy, that felt good to say that. And I promise you, if you'll do these things that I have brought out today, You will have the best life you've ever had, and you would be successful in everything that you do. Determine. I want you to determine right now. Whoever's listened, I want to give you a nugget of the word, okay? I want to give you a nugget of the word, and here it is right now. And uh, I would probably would have to say this is the nugget of Preacher Nat's word, so uh, this podcast is titled Nuggets of God's Word, but I'm going to give you a nugget of my word right now. Determine right now, right this second, if you're riding down the road, you at work, you wherever you might be, and you're listening to this podcast, you determine right now, this right second, glory be to God, right this second, I'm going to be better. I want you to speak it. I want you to claim it. And I want you to do it in Jesus' name. I type this little sentence up right here. And I want to say that again. It's so powerful. And I want you to get this determined right now. I'm on a, I want to be repetitive right now. This second. This moment. Determined right now. I'm going to be better. I'm going to have the best life I've ever had. I'm going to start doing some of these things that's been brought out on this podcast. But right now, I'm going to speak it. I'm going to claim it. And I'm going to do it in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. See, success comes first of all. I have been successful in some things in my life. I have to be the first to say that. But I really didn't know what success was until I asked Jesus to come into my heart and life and asked Jesus to help me with it. And when I began to speak it, I began to claim it. And the most important thing is when I began to do it in Jesus' name, folks, that is when things began to fall in place And that's when I realized what success was and realized how to have and how to make the best life I could ever have was through Jesus Christ. Now, folks, I want to share with you, maybe you're out there and you're contemplating suicide or whatever. So I want to share with you. And you say, Preacher, I, I, I would like to have that success. Well, I want to give it to you right now. First of all, you remember what I said, begin with a clean heart. Also, I told you to begin uh, building spiritual habits. First of all, folks, have a relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. Romans 3.23 says, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. We're all sinners, folks. Every one of us. 
And Romans 6, 23 said, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Eternal life is through Jesus Christ our Lord. The next thing, folks, Ephesians 2, 8, For by grace are you saved through faith, that not of yourselves, it is a gift of God. And if you accept that by faith, Hebrews 11, 1 says, Now faith is the substance. 